Excuse me, can you tell me where Jim O'Donnell's office is? That depends. What do you know about immigration law? What, are we talking visas, or are you trying to process a labor certification? You know about immigration law. Doesn't everybody? OK, tough guy. What do you think about my strategy on this? Hmm. I think it's a winner. Why is that? Because everyone knows Gonzalez versus State of Maryland was a kick-ass precedent, but your case is better. It was a kick-ass precedent. But I'm not sure that my case is better. Oh, it is. Well, what about Viteri versus? Trust me, it's better. Viteri needed magic dust and a sympathetic judge to win. Have we met? Nope. But I'm Mike, by the way. Claire. Are you sure? Because you look very familiar. Oh, that's probably because I've been delivering packages to your office for the last two months. But you haven't given me the time of day because you didn't think I was smart enough for you. It's 9.15. Wait, that worked? It's working so far, but I'm going to need to know your full story if it's going to keep working. Well, I'll tell you the full story once you give me your phone number. I'll give you my phone number when I know the full story. How about this? I'll tell you everything you want to know at dinner tomorrow night. In that case, I'll show you where Jim O'Donnell's office is. Jim O'Donnell's office? Where do you think I just came from? That's it. All you have to do is pick one of two characters. You know, whichever character I don't pick mm -hmm. is removed from film history forever. It's like they never existed. It's a piece of cake. OK. Han Solo or Indiana Jones? I'm out. <laughs> What's the problem? You just said it was going to be a piece of cake. The problem is you just picked the two greatest characters of all time. So You're right about that. I'm you. sorry. Yes. Let me start with something easier for you. All right. What's your Sundance? Mm. Check, please. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> no. This is really nice. Yeah, I'm having a really good time, too. So when do I get to hear the answer to what you do besides being a bike messenger? Who says I do anything? Look, Mike, there's nothing wrong with being a bike messenger. But I'm serious about my life. I'm not going to law school just to cash out. I, I really want to help people. Mike, bike messengers don't help people. No, not in the way that a man I want to be in a relationship with does. Well, then today is your lucky day. I knew it. Where do you go? Mm -mm. You first. Where do you go? NYU. Columbia. I, I win. win. Uh -oh. Hi, I got a delivery free Zoltan Freestmeister, son. I'm afraid there's no one in this office with that name. Uh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Really? Yeah. Because I'm willing to bet that there's no one on this planet with that name. OK, fine. If you could just point me towards Kumquat McGillagutty's office, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Jeez, I certainly did not bike down here with two fictitious deliveries just to tell you what a great time I had last night. Good, because I have a lot of work to do. So if you could please just hop on that little bike of yours. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. You finished flirting with Quicksilver here. You might want to get down to INS. Hector Suarez just got taken in. His visa's expired. They're going to send him back to the Dominican Republic. Hey, uh, maybe I can help. No offense. I don't know how no, you... No, 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 Nathan. He's not just a bike messenger. He's in law school. Really? Why are you in law school? Uh, Columbia. And he happens to know visas better than either one of us. Well, I really can't pay you, so... No, I'm, I don't need any money. I just want to help. All right, Columbia. Be my guest. Got a hearing Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Mike. That is amazing. Thank you. Well, no, don't take me yet. I haven't even done any. Um, this might not be relevant, but I actually saved Kumquat McGillagutty's life this morning, so I'm going to go do some work. Thank you. You seem to have done a lot of work here, Mike. Ah, uh, that's no big deal. It is a big deal. Mike found a loophole in the Immigration Act of 1975, and it's going to blow you away. I don't, I don't know about that, but it may help Hector Suarez stay in the country. <laughs> That's great. And you're more than welcome to uh, stay and watch. Unfortunately, Claire, I need you to run back to the office. Marshall called in sick, and he's so to handle the walk-in, so. OK. Call me. Tell me how it goes. What the hell are you doing? That's going to keep Hector Suarez in the country? 
Yeah. Yeah, nothing's gonna keep him in the country. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy him some time so he can get his affairs in order, and then I'm gonna give his children a chance to stay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, are you jealous of me and Claire, or? I'm, like, I'm not jealous, and I was waiting for her to leave to save you the embarrassment. Embarrassment of what? That's good work. I'm not talking about the work. I'm talking about your bike messenger by day, law student by night bullshit. All right, you don't know what you're talking about. Listen, well, what are you gonna tell me next? Your uh, roommate is a stripper, is in medical school? Tell me right now, I call Columbia, your story holds up. That's what I thought. Forget who I am and take a look at that folder. This is a man's Don't life. touch me. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay the hell away from Claire.